We're back here with your boy, Mr. Blister, and we're almost on to month two. Today, we gotta try and make this base a little bit better. Firstly, our water dispenser is almost out of water, so I need to go and get a new one. We need a kitchen as well, so that we can actually boil that water, as well as make food. Now, I have a trailer over in the rich neighborhood, which I'm gonna grab, because there's a few different things on the map, which I've spotted, but I do wanna get for the base. Mainly, the uh, post office, see what they got there, as well as get the water dispenser from there, if it spawns as well as a grocery store, and maybe a few of the other stores that are in Riverside. All right, now that we're here, I'm gonna switch my crowbar. Let's begin exploring. Stop right there, oh, <laughs> fuck, man, that actually spooked me. All right, well, it sounds silent in here, so I should be able to loot. I'm just <gasps> oh, wow, that was spooky. There it is, another water dispenser. Let's bring it back to the vehicle along with all the books and stuff we got from here. Now that I have that place looted, I wanna go over to the gas station. The gas station on the outside of town had something pretty cool at it, which you might remember if you watched one of the earlier episodes. All right, there are a lot of zombies around here, and I do not want to have to deal with them every time I do a run. So maybe I'm gonna just... Oh, man, I put my gun in the trunk of a car. Uh-oh. Okay, well, I gotta do a little loop-de-loop. -loop. I'll get them all over here. I'm gonna run over to the car. Let me get my Beretta pistol. There we go. We got it. Let me equip this primary my crowbar in my bag and then we're good to go i have about 150 bullets on me so i think this will be enough to at least take out these zombies oh man there's so many I i'm doing good work though i'm doing good work there we go aiming up i think that's level six now only like 30 more bullets left but there's not too many zombies so i think we did it i'm gonna have to go back to get more bullets but i mean this is good fucking work make the highway more clear and i'll be able to go to that other spot way easier oh i should stop by here and get that a uh ice cooler that's out front pick up yeah it only weighs 15 all right we're back at the base we got 81 pounds of stuff to bring in then i'm gonna put the popsicle fridge right under the stairs and then we have our water dispenser as well as the rest of the stuff to sort through i'm gonna put this one right here it'd be nice if we get four of them we can line them all up at the front i think our next course of action is honestly going to be to start farming because we do have a lot of different seeds yeah we have all of the different types i think there's only seven vegetables and fruits in the game and we have one of each some of these will take like two weeks to grow others will take closer to a month but at least we'll start to get some crops and then once we do harvest them we can put them all into our cooler over here and i'm probably going to try and get a few more of course all i gotta do is dig a bunch of burrows in the ground and then after i can put the seeds in and it looks like i'm gonna have to water them seeing as the rain finally stopped oh hey it's back let's go all right here we go that's the final plant i'm gonna do for now we got three different lots a two by six plenty of crops that are being grown here it's raining right now so i probably won't even need to water them but at least we got those set up so slowly over the next few weeks we'll start to get more and more i do need to get my sledgehammer out as the next thing i want to do is clear out the church pews that are above on the top floor is because that's where i want to do something special with the base and make a lot of cool stuff right up here we have four rows of them to destroy so this won't be too much but this is where i want to put all my like arcade machines and other things that are really cool sort of make like a man cave on the top floor if you will oh shit i broke the floor now if i go upstairs and bring a sheet rope i should be able to just drop that down through the hole oh don't get that close mr blister gonna add escape rope and now this should yeah that, that'll work i guess so now to make it even cooler up there i guess i can destroy the stairs and then i'll replace the floor eventually there we go destroy the stairs on both of the sides that way it'll look really nice when it's done as next i can slowly start to steal a kitchen from a neighbor over here oh i need level three electrical well, that isn't good there we go pick up plain fridge let's bring this back to the base at least there we go we now have a fridge hooked up that's pretty cool there is the camera store that's near the vhs store i can uh, probably go to because i haven't gone there yet i'm sure all the cameras there could be dismantled as well as any other electronics because i'm gonna need to get that electrical level up anyways here we are yep go flash right there now i have cleared this area before but i do want to listen because there definitely could be zombies just waiting somewhere or hanging out you know 
That's a pretty cool looking photo. Let me take that Monica Alyssa painting. All right, I think that's about it for the VHS store. We can get out of here now. now. I grabbed all the cameras here, but they showed up as junk. So I'm really hoping I can dismantle or do something with them at the base. Yeah, I got like 33 film cameras. I really hope I can do this. Uh, come on. No, no, no. All right, let me go find out on the wiki what cameras are used for. Bro, do I just have a bunch of cameras now that are completely useless? Like there's no information on them. Yeah, there's just like nothing to do with them. They're kind of useless. Well, that sucks. I guess I'll just put them all away and figure out something else to do. I'm not sure if there are zombies left in these houses. I haven't really checked most of them. Ah, uh, there, like a black lamp. I can dismantle these. See how much XP this gets me. I got like three XP, so not much, but it's better than nothing. So I got about 12 experience in total from this house. If I go and get my propane torch, I can get into that shed too by taking off a door. So I'm gonna go do that quick. All right, let's get rid of this door and see what's in there. We got nothing. I'll take these down and then I'll go into the furniture store. Oh, and quite a few from before. So Riverside is still a little bit alive. I also do need planks for base construction. So this will be a good run anyways. All right, dismantled a bunch of stuff in the building. We're only like 100 experience away from level six. So I'm gonna go gather all the planks that are in here and then bring them back to the base. All right, now that we're back home, let's try and build some more furniture with all that wood we got. Something like a bookcase could be cool as we do have a lot of books and stuff to store. Now let's build some more cool looking tables so we can display all of our weapons hey there we go level six carpentry that means that our next course of action will be reading the book so that we can give a 15 times multiplier let me go up here and repair the floor before i fall through it one day and then i'm gonna build a couple like random bookcases up here just small ones to have oh, what the hell is there like no ceiling here now too Damn. Now that I got a bunch of bullets on me, I'm gonna actually make the trip to the gas station to grab that little uh, arcade machine. This is the first one I've found in the game, so I do want to bring it back to the base, and it'll make the base really cool. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna take this uh, freezer here as well. Here it is. So let me go pick it up. Yep, Dr. Oid's arcade machine. Awesome, we can bring this back to the base now and that'll fill it up, make it look a lot nicer and give us a goal because we can start collecting these. So right now we're over here at the gas station. We already explored the factory, but we do have an auto repair store here and then a self storage we could go to. So I think I'll do that before I head home. I think first I'll check out the car shop, see if there's any good stuff here. And then I'll work my way over to the storage bins. Well, honestly, there's not much here. Kind of disappointing with that. Oh, there's a corpse in the trunk. That's pretty gnarly, man. All right, I guess I'll go to the storage containers now and see what's there. Here we are. We just have to keep on the lookout for any zombies. I'm not sure if there's any left in this area. I see one down there. All right, there's some zombies coming up from behind, too. Maybe I'll switch to the pistol. All right, that was pretty easy. I think one of them has a fucking assault rifle or something on them. Ah! Killed all the zombies. I'm gonna have a smoke and then go to bed and then wake up and hopefully... I can just loot the area and it'll be okay. There are a few zombies behind us, but it looks like the rest of them that are in the storage facility are either killed or still in that one building. All right, where's that one zombie I saw? Yeah, what is this? Francie Spass 12 with fixed stock. Oh, that's nice. Whoa! more ammo canisters that's fucking really good all right there isn't much else here i mean if i brought my sledgehammer i'd be able to find more but at least for now i did find quite a bit of stuff all right let's get going back onto the road and back to the base oh shit that's not good oh that could have hurt all right let me put these new guns that we got out so this looks like a, another shotgun wow a really good looking one too and then yeah this is like a little uzi or something let's put my computer right here for now eventually i'll move it upstairs or something now i can place this dr oid's arcade machine right here and boom we can play dr oid's now awesome man you hear those nice noises that's uh mr blister having fun all right, I got my four ammo canisters set up, 20 boxes of rounds for that one. Wow, 16 for that, 26 incinerate. Oh, I, I cannot say that word, fire rounds. And then six boxes of rounds for that, that's pretty good. I don't want to end off the episode just like that, so there's one more thing I want to do, and that's grabbing the shotguns. Maybe I'll grab the good one that I found, this uh, Franchi Spaz. All right, this vehicle is looking pretty beat up. Like, this was a spotless car two episodes ago. Oh my god, yeah, the hood is just done in zero percent all right we got to go back to that little town i think it's called a cron or something like that basically the town that we got overran in whoa oh my god 
Should have been zoomed out. Maybe I'll start to try to attract the zombies on the highway. Alright, let's test this out. Oh, cure zombie too. Well, that's not bad. It doesn't like one shot kill, but it does pretty good. Oh man, there's a lot more in the forest than I thought. The shotgun isn't horrible, like it isn't like crazy OP, but uh... It at least, like, shoots four to five of them and, like, stops them after two shots. I did run through more shotgun bullets than I thought I would have, though. So when we do arrive to the city, I need to, like, try to keep that in mind. So right now, we are around here. There's a farm over here, I think, somewhere. There should be a lot of zombies, like, between here and here. So that's the main area that I want to clear out. There should be a little house, like, just on the outskirt of that city. So I might try to take over that area first. I think this is the driveway for the house first i'll take out the few zombies that are around the area here all right i'm gonna take out my crowbar now let's search this house see if it's all safe all right doesn't appear to be any zombies in here so that's good now, i just want that place clear that way i have somewhere to like chill or sleep if i really need to but now we are ready to get revenge all right we already got quite a few following us wow yeah there's a lot of them all right this is my stop i guess let's begin yeah, this isn't too bad at all. Getting rid of quite a few of them. All I gotta do is stay on alert. Like, make sure none of them sneak up on me. That should be good. Oh, almost walked into that one. Oh, man, I'm already out of shotgun bullets. Wow, I got 129 pistol bullets on me. Why didn't I bring more? There we go. The group's starting to be really small now. Is that almost all of them? As long as this one street is clear, that's like a good chunk of a town. Wow, yeah. I think we actually did it. We'll have to go find my car. I don't know if there's zombies around there. Oh, there it is. And yeah, there's only like a few there. So that's good. Oh, shit. Okay, there's more than I thought. Oh, only two bullets left. That isn't good. We aren't exhausted yet. So I can crowbar for a bit. Oh my god. Okay, she uh, took off my mask. That sucks. So I have to go get that. But wow. Yo, I am not on my shit today. All right, let's see. What are we at now? 2016 zombie kills. I, I didn't think I was going to hit over 2,000. So we killed at least like 300 just on this trip. That's insane. Halfway there up level 7. Wow, that's really good. I think that's a pretty good way to end off the video. And 2016 zombie kills on Mr. Blister. In the next episode, I'll probably loot that town and start to like clear out more of the zombies. We might have to go back to the base to get more ammo. I recently just dropped some merch too. It'll be available at least until the end of this summer so if you guys want to support the channel in a way that you end up getting something cool in return check out those shirts and other stuff that i'm selling in the description below along with that just like the video comment and subscribe all that helps me out and helps the channel out a bunch but thank you guys for watching episode 7 of let's struggle and i'll see you guys in the next one peace oh a fucking zombie wandered on